Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Plank, and we're out at my studio in the Hunters Point Shipyard in San Francisco. And um, I'm prepping for my solo show at Themes and Projects in the Minnesota Street Project, and so I have some kind of works in progress that I'm developing for that show. Um, and this is a series that I started on um, a residency this summer in Sweden. And um, I'm working on paper before things kind of come to, to panel because um, I've been also kind of working with these natural dyes like indigo along with like printing processes. So this particular series is something that ends up getting printed and dyed and laundered and printed and dyed. And they have this really like lovely kind of like textile quality. But again, looking at this idea of um, you know, graphing out information systems and plotting. And so, you know, these you'll see in our series, they're very interrelated. Um, everything I do is unique and one of a kind, um, but I like to kind of work on multiple variations of things before I really kind of cull down to the final series. So these are gonna be 38 by 38 on panel. See how textile-like and soft the paper is. I feel like it adds this really organic quality to, you know, these kind of mathematical plottings, which can be, you know, kind of stiff in the original iteration. So the idea of working more with the hand and this idea of laundering them and beating them up, um, I think just gives them that kind of organic softness that I'm interested in. This is a good one. <laughs> so these are um, also works in progress for the show at Themes and Projects. Um, and I'm, you know, working more on um, these kind of like shaped pieces, like thinking about them a little bit more as objects. And so these guys are on um, CNC routed wood and then they'll be floated off the wall so you get these kind of like nice kind of cast shadows. Um, you know, a lot of my work I think really speaks in multiples. So, you know, in a way I'm really thinking about these as like one large kind of installation piece rather than like singular pieces because I think the dialogue between all of them is, um, is interesting. I think it adds a little bit the multiplication of all of these building and building of patterns. And so for this series, um, for that Madame Matisse show, um, I really looked at interference patterns. Like I'm really interested in what happens when, you know, after I've developed all of these plotted and graphed images, how they're overlaid with one another and what results from their interaction. Like a lot of the times the things that happen that aren't even in my original drawings, but during combining of different layers that is revealed is kind of that spot that I'm really interested in seeing. So looking at more ray patterns and looking at kind of interference from all of these um, information points, it's, um, to me, that's exciting. Like what is revealed in the printing rather than um, what was originally designed. Here's a really good example of like some of that moray patterning happening. It's like the intersection of like offsetting these patterns and where the two of them come together, they cause this kind of like visual shift, this kind of visual noise, which to me is like, you know, very relatable in today's society, right? Everything is this visual kind of noise. So, you know, for almost all of the works that I'm, I'm developing for the show, that kind of idea of the interaction and that kind of buzz and noise is, is interesting for me and, and something I'm focusing on.